I know how much Robbie's actions will affect his victims because I've experienced that myself. When I was in fourth grade, I experienced being molested. While Robbie was in treatment, his therapist thought it would be a good idea for me to share my experience with him. When I told Robbie what happened to me, he got upset and he cried. I had hoped that by sharing my story that I could break through to him and maybe he could see what it does to a person, but it didn't change the fact that he still believes that his victims will get over it. Kristen says she knows what her stepson Robbie's victims endured because she was also abused as a child. It's because of that that she will do anything to keep him from reoffending. Uh, you know what it's like to be on the other end and to be exploited, taken advantage of, and abused. Knowing that he has victimized two young girls, what impact did it have on you when you learned that? I was devastated. I felt angry and ashamed and embarrassed. Like, I didn't know what to do. I still felt like I wanted to help him, but then I was so mad. And I think it just, it made me like question things. Did you get help? No, sir. I waited until I was 22 years old to share my story with my mom. And she told me that people just get over it and told me to get over it. And so that's what I've tried to do. Yeah, that's not how that works. <laughs> Do you have a theory as to what has triggered this in him? Um, when I came into their life, they had a man in their life, and mm. him and his sisters would go visit, and it was very weird because he only wanted Robbie to visit. He wanted him like to be there alone, and this man's obsession was just too much, so I put an end to that relationship because I felt like it was... There was something definitely off about it. But when I've asked Robbie about it, he's told me he doesn't remember him being offended. But then there was this one weird conversation we had where he said, sometimes I wonder if he did do something to me and I just can't remember it. So you think he may have been abused? I wonder. There's no question that that can have an influence. But when I said this is not something that you're going to be able to parent him out of. There are some real cerebral abnormalities that we see in pedophiles, particularly in the temporal lobes, that we don't see in the general population. And have they done anything to brain map this child to find out what's going on with him neurologically? Okay. No. I'm just curious if, if they've really delved in and looked at all of the different factors that that add up to this behavior in the end? Because it seems like they're just washing their hands of him at this point. Well, the question becomes, what do Kristen and Rick do now? Because the clock is ticking. And very, very soon, this child is gonna be on the curb.